The legends speak of an ancient evil known only as Cthulhu. It is said to have come to this earth from beyond the heavens. For eons, Cthulhu ruled from the top of the great city of Rilia. While the legends are silent as to the, the fall of Great Rilia, they all foretell the same prophecy. Cthulhu will rise again. Cthulhu saves the world! Hey everyone, Dash here with some something indie, a new thing, a new project I told you guys about. My exams are over and I decided to start making movies again. You guys probably go already go. Oh my God, Dash is dead. He's not doing things again. But yeah, I just got a, a ton of new things, and I'll have a new project of Retro Time with Dash, which I might put up soon. In the meantime, I'm going to show you guys Cthulhu Saves the World. It's a new game that came up. I mean, look at the soundtrack. It's so awesome. Um, it came up on Steam. It's like one euro seventy nine or something. About like what two dollars, and you get Breath of Death Seven, which is also the same game made by the same company, and both are really really good and funny, and you guys should try it out. Anyways, let's just start the game, shall we? Begin the new game, an RPG adventure of legendary proportions awaits. Let's go. Normal, not for an interpreted adventure. Not too hard, not too easy. Easy. <laughs> oh, this reminds me of jazz. For the frail of body and mind, monsters are weaker, MP recovery is increased. Hard. For the one that was walking into the darkness and returned, monsters are more powerful, MP recovery is reduced. Insane. You would have to be insane to choose this difficulty. Bonus modes. Bonus modes for play value joy includes Cthulhu's Angel, Score Attack, Highlander and Overkill mode. Only available after beating the game. Well, we haven't beaten the game yet, so let's go with normal for now. Commentary on? Off or on? Find question marks to learn more about the creation of the game. Not only available after beating the game. Well, commentary off. For countless ages, that unthinkable being known as Cthulhu has lain dormant in his underwater city of Rilia. Cthulhu, a being so terrible that his mere presence is enough to drive mere mortals insane. And that's true. Cthulhu sleeps while the world goes on, oblivious to his presence. Until the night. Awaken, great Cthulhu! As Cthulhu emerged from the bay, the world seemed doomed indeed. But wait! What's that? A brave and mysterious stranger has appeared from high atop the under cliff. Using strange holy power, the mysterious stranger has sealed away Cthulhu's horrible power. His power drained, Cthulhu washes up on the neighborhood shore, defeated and dejected. Well, that sucks! <laughs> After waiting all this time to have victory snatched from my grasp by a mere mysterious man, and it's highly frustrating. I must get my powers back. But how long? Luckily for the world, Cthulhu didn't know that the one and only way to break the curse and regain his powers. In order to break the curse and regain his powers, he would have to do the unthinkable. He would have to become a true hero. By becoming a true hero, only by becoming a true hero, my mistake, I apologize, would his powers return to him. 
<laughs> Foolish narrator! While you were busy explaining the situation to the player, I was eavesdropping! Now I know, know the way to regain my power. Whoops! I, Cthulhu, do hereby vow to devote my life to become a true hero. But only so that I can regain my powers, summon really back to the surface. And destroy the world, of course. And thus, a most unlikely hero was born. Welcome to your new life as a wannabe RPG hero. Before we begin, allow me to give you a few pointers. The great Cthulhu needs no assistance. However, for the benefit of the lowly player who dares control me, hey, I resent that, I will allow you to continue with your feeble tips. Hold B button while moving to run real fast! <laughs> Foolish game developer! By giving this ability to run, I'll finish this silly game in half the time! I'll be able to sell it back to the game store before the trading value drops! Yeah, that's not going to happen. Press the I button to bring up the menu. From here you can chat with the members of your party, check out your stats, start a fight, change your equipment, save your game, or teleport back to the cities you visited. I can save you at any time? What is this, a first person shooter? Use abilities like Insanity Slash and Combat to make your enemies insane! Insane enemies take more damage from attacks, but watch out! Few enemies become more dangerous when insane! No shit, Sherlock! There will be no watching out. I shall blast all the gift of insanity upon all! Build your combo count with hits, then unleash a powerful combo finisher ability like Death Blow for massive uh, damage. Hit the weak point for massive damage! Massive crap! Are you done yet? If it's alright with you, I would like to actually play this game sometime this year. Good luck! Cosmic monstrosities don't need luck! We forge our own destinies, no matter what the cost to humanity at all. So yeah, we're controlling Cthulhu now! Let's pick this up. You got three 1-ups! You can use 1-ups to reset the field battle. Well, that's nice! Let's keep walking! Walking, run! Walking, run! Walking, run! Run! Walking! Cthulhu on the beach! Oh my god, the damsel in distress! Aha! A helpless maiden beset by vicious monsters! I shall rescue her, thus becoming a true hero! That would not work for a... that would work for a normal person. But you have a lot of evil to atone for. It will take many heroic deeds before you're even remotely close to being considered a true hero. Fyarn! Now I'll just have to kill the monsters anyway. Just for the sake of violence. Battle team! Oh my god, this is awesome. A goose approaches! Round 1, monsters set at normal strength. Okay, it's time for me to explain a bit about the battle system. You have a combo meter that some moves when you attack you gain like multiplier. And when you deliver finishing blows like breakers like a death blow like the game was saying, you reset that multiplier to do massive damage on, by the multipliers you have. The thing is, the more rounds it passes, the more stronger the monsters become, so you have to kill them as quickly as possible while ditching out the, the most combos for doing lethal damage. So, let's get started! <sighs> Techniques, insane strike and death blow. Well, let's put one enemy insane, shall we? Just for you guys to see it. <laughs> Goose, an endangered species for obvious reasons. Cthulhu forms insanity strike, two hits, 20 day damage to Goose. Goose is insane! Just look at his face. I'm not doing the laser! One hit, six damage for Cthulhu. And steam pop up, sync play ball or playing counter strike. Two is the next one hit, seven damage. As you can see the insane enemies do a lot more damage, but take more damage. Also round two begins and monster arm 110%, like I told you so. Well, since we have a multiplayer of two, let's just use Death Blow on this one, since it has more HP. But, and have a multiplayer too, so we can do like 42 damage and it's, it's a kill. One hit, 7 damage points for 
still do. Monsters are 120 strength. Let's see. Oh, 70 hit points. Let's just finish him off. Goose is defeated. All enemies have been defeated. All allies gain full HP and 4 MP. You gain 2 XP and 2 gold. Also in this game you always get max HP after beating a battle. The problem is that you lose MP. And you can't regenerate it uh, besides being on ends and magic lights. Just save and stuff like that. MP is what you use for techniques, obviously. Cthulhu is now level 4! Max HP goes by 8. Max MP goes by 5. Choose your level up bonus. Also in this game you can choose like the tree you... Kinda tech tree. It's not a tech tree. It's more like... A way to level up. You have two always two options. So right now we have insane strength, which is a passive ability, but which each insane enemy gives strength plus ten percent. Or you can have ins insane magic, which is the passive ability that gives plus ten percent, but to magic instead of strength. Since I want Cthulhu to be a a kick-ass machine of destruction, I'll probably give him the level up. A. Eh? So let's keep going. DIE FOUL SLIME MONSTERS! As Cthulhu defeated the final slime monsters, he turned his gaze to the maiden he had rescued. Gorgeous! Umi! What? When Yumi gazed upon the mighty Cthulhu, she did not see a crazed octopus dragon man. Because she's blind with hearts in her eyes. Instead, she saw this. Warning, image display by not perfect reality. Also, probably drugs. My hero! Hero indeed! Did you hear that? Do I count as a true hero yet? No. Fudrag! At this rate I shall never become a true hero and regain my cosmic powers of destruction. Oh, brave warrior you have saved me from a gooey death? Let me join you on your noble quest! Do you do something besides get attacked by slime monsters? I have an affinity with the creatures of the sea and can call them my friends. Okay. Ta da ta ta da ta ta da ta 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 da ta ta pass. Oh, and I have this trident which I use to stab things. That's more like it. And above all, I, Yumi, promise my wholehearted love and devotion. You great, big, green hunk of handsomeness. Good. You kinda need glasses, girl. Yes, the great good woman requires groupies, but you shall draw them. Yay! Does this mean we're dating now? No. We're sitting on a strictly rock side groupie relationship, blah blah blah. For now, <laughs> Yumi has joined your party, Cthulhu. Now that you have a second party member, you can use the chat command. You can also use multi-character unite techniques in battle. Gain more allies to unlock more unite abilities. Random encounters are now active in this dungeon. After fighting 25 battles in this area, random encounters will be turned off. If you'd like to fight beyond that, press the I button and bring up the main menu and select the fight option. So that's it. There's Yumi and Cthulhu over here. So that's it for the first look at the game. Uh, in the meantime, I'll check you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Something Gimme. I'm probably gonna do another parallel game with this one. Uh, you guys will probably see it when I put this online. In the meantime, take care. Dash out. Cheers.